Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Last famine. U.S. agencies kick Ascano Court jails 13-year-old boy for 10 years. This is getting out of hand, though. This is really getting out of hand. Before you know it, before our very own eyes in Nigeria, um, some other kinds of things are going to be happening very soon. And if nobody speaks, everybody keeps quiet, you're going to be surprised, you know. By the way, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time we're reaching you today, a very big thank you to every one of you for your continuous and massive support. We truly, really appreciate you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe if this is your first time. We all have been hearing of what's been going on in Kanu State. Gandu J, the dollar man, the man that was caught, yes, in camera, collecting bribe. One of his hands has not been cut off, oh. like should be the normal thing. Yes, I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. Please, correct me. That should be the normal thing. Yes, but now we also heard about the singer, a young 22-year-old boy who sang a song and he said apparently it was a blasphemous song. He blasphemed. And as a result, um, he's been, you know, he's been sentenced to death for blaspheming. Okay. In Nigeria, in Nigeria, in Nigeria. Now, what we are hearing now is that a 13-year-old old boy had a discussion, uh, had an argument with his friend and mentioned some things some people termed blasphemous. And as a result, this 13-year-old boy, a teenager, he just, finished, he just left being 12 years, he's now 13, is going to be jailed for 10 years. So I don't understand what we are breeding, the set of people we are breeding in Nigeria. But nobody's saying anything. Ganduje took bribe and camera. You know the, the thing in Nigeria? The law favors the rich, the elites, and nobody's really... So that's what's happening. But let's carry on with the news and get all the details. U.S. is saying this is unacceptable. Let's get the details. Because nobody's saying anything. The Attorney General of the Federation is not flexing his muscles like he would normally do. Yes? Blasphemy, U.S. agency kicks as Kanu court jails 13-year-old boy for 10 years. The United States Commission on International Religious Freedom has faulted the judgment on an upper Sharia court in Kanu State, sentencing a 13-year-old boy, Umar Fagwa, so 10 years imprisonment for making derogatory statements towards Allah in an argument with a friend. Fagwa was convicted in August, on August 10th, a few days ago, 2020, by Amnil Kanu, the same judge who sentenced musician Yahai to death for blaspheming Prophet Muhammad. If it's his son, will he sentence him? If it's his son, will he do this? Let's continue. Baba Joma Ibrahim, spokesman of Kanu Religion Justice Minister, said the court handed, death, handed down the death sentence to enshrine an Islamic law based on infertile evidence and the convict administration of guilt. The punch reports that although Fagwa is a minor by Nigerian law and should not have been tried as an adult, Islamic kernels regret, uh, regards anyone who has begun puberty as an adult. Are you hearing? So anyone who has begun a 13-year-old boy, 13, said he's an adult, a child that should be guarded. Who would teach him? What will he, he didn't kill anybody. Yo. Let's continue. Can you prematurely Muslim northern Nigerian state as Islamic Sharia courts that function alongside civil courts introduced Sharia law in 2000. But the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom has condemned the blasphemy laws in Nigeria. The USAF is an independent federal government entity established by the U.S. Co Congress to monitor 
analyze and report threats to religious freedom. It's happening in Nigeria. Please, you people should come. In a statement in reaction to the judgment, the U.S. Commission condemns the death sentence handed to the singer and also condemned what has been handed over to this young child. Ufswa said, I call on the Attorney General of the Federation to step in to the kind of sentences this court is giving and mockery the Nigerian democracy. He will not respond to him himself. He's a part, he's part of the charia. When the South wanted to protect themselves, he said it was illegal. Did you hear what happened yesterday? So the, that's why Buhari is appointing these people. People who will be speaking and defending what he's bringing in. Nigerians will be a greatly fooled though. To, be, to vote in this administration starting from, you know, 2000, uh, 2015. This, what is happening now? Ah, hmm. only God will deliver us. So. Nigerians pray. Oh, the, what's the call of police? IG of police has said they will not give Amuteku arms. And Fulani headsmen are coming fully armed. They want to kill all the, the, the young people in Amutekun, all the youth in the south, so that they are, they are left feeble with older men, women, and children, and then they can take over. Guys, open your eyes. There is something going on, and everybody is keeping quiet and behaving as nothing is happening. If we continue like this, we'll wake up a day, and what will be happening will be out of the books. You and I need to rise up to freedom. Nigerians, what is going on is not right in any way, form, or kind. A 13-year-old boy, put yourself in that shoes. A little boy had an argument with a friend. Maybe has not even learned all the rudiments of Islam properly. What should happen? Why not flog him? Correct him with a cane. Yes, and really deal with him. So that he can learn. Putting him in prison for 13 years. How can he ever amount to somebody who will contribute to society? Attorney General of the Federation you are speaking to is worse than the Sharia court. Mm -hmm. Look at what is the trouble he's causing in Edo State. They say Edo is not Lagos. We are counting on the people of Edo State to prove that it's not really Lagos. With all that is going on, God Almighty... We defend Nigerians. Wake up. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. Now, uh, Buhari still have three years to go. Yes? Mm -hmm. And uh, what is happening? And, you know, uh, what's his name? That, is, that will not speak when there is insecurity and Nigerians are suffering. When Amuteku came on board, talking about the person of Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, is that the person you want to vote for? Wake up, Nigerians. Open your eyes. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. God bless you. Bye for now.